Okay, uh, hi everybody. Uh, what I'm doing to the boat here is uh, because uh, the fuel pump uh, off from the neoprene hose that uh, lets you know if the fuel pump's screwed up, it'll send send that gas up the line. So uh, every time I go and pull into the dock, I take the cowling off, have a look, check everything over, and uh, uh, yeah, the gas was coming up the neoprene line. So I looked into getting a fuel pump. Real hassle, uh, not available in Canada. All kinds of crap, 300 and some odd dollars, and ridiculous. So I, uh, I opted for the, uh, the uh, universal. They call it universal uh, low pressure electric pumps. Geez, do I have the box for it here? No. Well, anyways, any of your uh, automotive stores will have uh, have them. I got a, I, I got my hands on a Bosch, and um, so anyways, what's important to know? So many things important to know. Okay, uh, is uh, okay to start off with what I had to do. I'll show you quickly. Got this line that comes off the carburetor here. Okay, that's a, goes in. That's the fuel line. Uh, here's the original one. Yeah, it's really long, and it twisted all the way around and went down here and into the into here into the fuel pump. So I. Uh, what you do, what you gotta do is take off your fuel pump, take the lines off, take the fuel pump off. There's a little plate. You take the fuel pump off, then you'll see there's a little uh, bolt holding the an, an additional plate. Take that plate out, and then you gotta pull this out. This is the push rod that makes the pump go. You don't need that. You don't want it there. Don't want the pump. The pump actually now is just being used as a plug to plug up the hole. So you gotta get this pin out. Get this pin out. Put that all back. You don't have to get yourself new gaskets and stuff. It's a uh, you can use uh, silicone. There's no problem with that to close it back up uh, to put it back into place. I mean, so what I did is I started off with my new line. I got a see if you can see this here. Oh, I'll just say what it, okay, 20 inch. It's a 5 16 by 20 inch armor line. It's a brake line. Really good for this application. And I was lucky. It was just the exact length. So I started down here with my line. See him back up a bit. Started by holding it there and then figure out where it had to bend to go here and to go there. And once I got pretty close, well it's really hard to make some tight bends. So I needed one last tight little bend. So what I did is I fitted the top. Always making sure that the routing of the pipe does not touch any of the motor engine, which I'm gonna end up doing. It's a little bit of touching here, but once I get that done, it won't be touching anywhere. Oh yeah, and here's another thing, is uh, this uh, fuel filter here, it's got a 3 8 inch, uh, had a 3 8 inch line, so you can see how, how big it is here, that used to screw into there, I got myself an adapter, 3 8, uh, 5 6, I think it's 3 8, not too sure if it's, is that a 3 8, yeah, 3 8, yeah, well anyhow, 3 8 to 7 16 adapter, you can see that it's made for this here thing that screw into there and seal, see how it's made. Let's see, okay. So it's got to be it's got to be an adapter exactly like that. It's going to work good. And um, what I did here is uh, you got to have a install a fuel filter before you pump. My uh, negative ground. I found a real solid negative ground here, so I got it coming off the pump into here. I weld. What I do is weld my wires. And then when you start getting the heavy gauge wires, what I use, where is that freaking thing? I got so much junk in here. It's starting to get dark. Oh yeah, here. This little thing here. This little torch goes great. Okay. Use that. Use your common uh, household soldering and the paste. The paste on the soldering wire. Soldering wire too. I heat that up always heat your wire heat your wire not the solder until it gets hot then just apply your solder until it melts uh, what else uh, here better you get in some sometimes situations when you're fitting stuff like this is uh, it would there's no way I would be able to get all this hooked together without the hoses kinking so what you do is you put a loop okay and uh, in plumbing we call it an expansion joint and on the top, I did the same thing. So there's no kinks or nothing. Everything's running smooth. 
And seeing how it was a tight fit, I just opted for uh, uh, taping the, uh, the the pump to the uh, the hose here where the gasoline comes in. And as you know, it's, it's actually it's going to be vibration free. Nice, actually. Okay, that's the ground. And what I did is I continue my ground wire because you can have 50 grounds. It doesn't matter. Just if you have at least two, it's a boat. What they usually what they do with boats is they everything seems to be doubles like the clips are doubled and well I gotta add a couple more here I ran out and uh, what I like to do is make sure is I got to double things up so what, what I'm gonna do is uh, put this here back to the engine block too and uh, here is uh, I put an inline inline fuse on the positive just give me a second there you go Inside, it is calls for a 10 a 10 amp fuse. So there you go. If there's any other problems and the thing's not going to catch on fire, the fuse is just going to go. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. And last but not least, I got to uh, hook up my positive line. Got here. You see, I protect it with the housing and that. And I'm going to. Uh, what you got to do is find somewhere on the engine, or when you turn your ignition on, uh, you got power. Just when the ignition's on. So what you got to do, probably, is uh, you got solenoids up in here. Quite a few solenoids. Find the one that's for the ignition. When you turn the ignition on, a solenoid comes on somewhere. You'll get a good solid positive. Just get it right off of there. Anyways, you'll figure it out. If you can't, just go directly to your battery. Go into your battery, your boat, get your positive line, run it up to the front of your boat. Run it up to the front. Put a switch up on there. Or right off the ignition. You could actually use a... Uh, solenoids and shit but you don't it's not necessary it's really not necessary so uh, yeah and uh, I had to put a filter too like I said this one was a 5 16 so I've managed to fit a 3 uh, five, supposed to be a 3 8 I managed to fit a 5 16 just temporary I'll be fixing that later uh, changing that later what else can I say is uh, yeah I think that's I got about everything there uh, yeah Okay, hope this helps you guys out. Uh, yeah, and have a nice day. Ciao.